Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so now that we've had the official announcement for Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Harudagan in the news, I'm going to go ahead and do the mini unit guide where I talk about their links, best link partners, and some of the teams that you will be running them on. And we're going to start off with our boy Harudagan over here. So this guy is a movie bosses or resurrected warriors leader for 170%, and then he gives 30% to legendary existence or transformation boost so his leader skill whilst it's not the craziest uh, movie bosses and then resurrected warriors with transformation boost does offer some pretty interesting options for uh, his team for getting the full 200% leader skill and then when it comes to his categories uh, he's also on time travelers planetary destruction um, and legendary existence, oh sorry, and storied figures, right, because legendary existence is the other one from his leader skill, so he's on a few uh, decent categories uh, himself, um, and then if we take a look at the 200% teams that he's on, we can see here that the options are not particularly great, right, this is for the full 200%, so of course he can fit onto a bunch of different uh, 170 leads, but uh, because his information is not yet in the files for global, we haven't had a data download, um, I've had to use the JP version of the Dokon info site. So obviously Broly is on here, but of course he is not out on global. So when this guy releases for global, the only 200% leader skills he gets other than his own is from Trunks, because of course he's a 200% lead for all time travelers. And then the STR final form cooler, who as much as I loved that guy, he was probably my favorite unit in the game when he came out. He is, of course, very much in this current meta, very outdated. So if you are thinking about pulling for the Harudagan, um, you know, outside of his own team before the anniversary, he's not going to be uh, rocking up on a lot of these great teams, right? But it'll be very interesting, of course, you know, when we get to the anniversary and all that content, the fact that he is on Broly's 200% team. So that is an interesting uh, option for him. So if we go ahead and take a look at his links over here, so we can take a look at his best linking partners. Uh, he has Brutal Beatdown, Berserker, Big Bad Bosses, Revival, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, and then Fierce Battle. So Berserker is a terrible link, of course. They, it's one of these ones they always give to Broly. But I guess at least if he's going to be on Broly's team for the anniversary, at least he has that link. If you do ever get into the situation where you're at 50% or less HP, which I believe, of course, can change mid-turn. So the link can deactivate if you heal above 50%, very much like Big Bad Bosses uh, if it's not level 10. Um, but that is 30% extra attack, which can be very, very good. Uh, Brutal Beatdown is a solid attack link. Of course, Big Bad Bosses is a great link for all villains. It's one of the most important links to get to link level 10. Even if you're not someone super into link leveling, that's the kind of thing you should be using your uh, link skill orbs. And if you do spend money on the game, like the keys and stuff, right, getting a unit with Big Bad Bosses to 10 as quickly as possible. Because that extra 25% attack and defense goes a long way. Um, I mean, once the link starts getting leveled up, the HP restriction goes down to numbers that are way more manageable, like the high 90% sense but having it just always active is of course always the better option and then revival is a key link that gives a little bit of attack and defense and then also gives some hp recovery if you're below a certain amount of hp and then nightmare fierce battle are both attack links and fear and faith is a def uh, and key link that gives a minor enemy defense debuff which obviously won't be relevant um in all content but can potentially be useful in some events so overall a uh, decent link set when it comes to like villain teams right brutal beatdown big bad bosses nightmare fear and faith fierce battle these are all pretty good and fairly common links links like revival and berserker not as much but you can find them dotted around, especially with like Resurrected Warriors being one of his leader skills and having the Revival link. So his link set definitely isn't terrible overall. Uh, we got some decent ones there. So if we take a look at his link partners, now of course, Harudagan is a transforming unit. So he transforms into the uh, like finished perfect form Harudagan and his links don't change. So that means if you transform one and keep the other one untransformed if you are doing double Harudagan leads, they will share all seven links with each other, which could certainly be an interesting rotation depending on your team build for him, right? Having both of them on the same turn uh, once you've got one of them transformed. But yeah, seven out of seven links with Harudagan. Now, when we drop down to five links, so he's got no six link partners apparently. When we drop down to five links, uh, sadly, slim pickings here when it comes to units that are actually good i say slim basically zero right for the current meta in terms of units that are usable because tech janemba i mean ever since tech fat janemba came out you basically never wanted to transform him because his pre-transformed version was better 
but that unit has aged out at least for the current meta. He should get an easy A, hopefully not too long down the line, but until then, not really a great option. And then, of course, STR and uh, Int Janemba, very much outdated now. Of course, Int Janemba will get a super easy A at some point, depending how quickly they go through them, because if they are going through the Dokkan Fest in release order, we got the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we'll get Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, uh, the physical full power Freezer Tech Cell, and then in Ultimate Gohan, and then potentially after those, we could then see STR Gogeta and Int Janemba, but because we haven't had the second Super Easy A yet, we don't know how far they're gonna space those out, or exactly what order they are gonna go in, so, you know, Int Janemba's Super Easy A could still be six, eight, even a full year i was gonna say six to eight months even a full year from now right so unfortunately the five link partners nothing too crazy now when we drop down to four we have some more interesting options here now i wanted to try and highlight more specifically the ones that you're actually going to run him on teams with um you know there's no point really mentioning like lr janemba because as much as he's probably slightly more usable in the current meta than the other janembas he is still very much outdated at this point and then like LR Omega, I mean, you're not really going to run them together because you're not really using Omega outside of a GT boss's team. Same with like the Shadow Dragons LR. Now when it comes to, we've got the LR, Goku Black and Zamasu can still be relatively decent as long as you're not going into type disadvantage bosses, you get them built up. But of course the harder content coming up down the line with the anniversary, they definitely will get shredded by some of these bigger boss super attacks. But a unit that I wanted to highlight, um, who I think should be on the thumbnail, is why I, asked, I gave my thumbnail guy the units to put on the thumbnail, is the physical Super Saiyan 3 Rosé. Um, this guy, you know I'm a Super Saiyan 3 Rosé Glazer, I will always be bigging up this man, especially because he got some massive buffs with the anniversary content. So many events where you fight against a Goku for the extra buff for his base Super Saiyan 3 form, and then once he transforms into full power, you get into the later parts of some of these anniversary events and you're fighting against Super Saiyan Blue enemies, whether it's Goku, Vegeta or Gogeta. So he's getting his extra buff from his full power form as well. And once he goes full power, he has guaranteed guard. So post supering, he's tanking like most things in the game. Um, and he shares four links with the uh, Harudagan, which is a brutal beatdown, nightmare, fear and faith and fierce battle. So a little bit of key there. Um, and then 50% attack in total, which is definitely very, very good. Um, Rosé's link set doesn't change, so of course the untransformed Rosé is there as well. Now when we have a look down the rest of the line, it's a little bit more... Uh... <laughs> A little bit more scarce for units that are good, at least right now, of course. Um, units like Garlic Jr. be definitely very interesting for him to get a good easy A in the future. Um, this Demigra, we're still very much waiting for those uh, Xenoverse characters to get their easy A's. So that's something that could be interesting for the future as well. Same with the Tech Exchange Boo. Now we do have AGL Android 13. Now, they're on movie bosses together. Um, they are sharing four links, which is, of course, uh, Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. So overall, they'll be getting, what, 60% attack, 25% defense, and 2 key, which is pretty good. I've seen some people using 16, uh, sorry, 13 on teams that don't have enough Android allies so for him to transform, which means he's just an infinite stacking unit because he provides support to target Goku. So there's other movie bosses, characters and stuff you could run on that team with him that he would be providing support to. Then he never transforms, so he's just infinitely stacking his defense. He can get up to having some very high defensive numbers. I don't think that's necessarily optimal, especially for some of the more difficult anniversary content, but Android 13, at least when we look at the other collection of units he's surrounded by here right for the uh, links is definitely not the worst option um, now interestingly for global i guess because he does have the same link set as them i believe the physical rosé is not out on jp so of course he doesn't show up on this list because as i say we have to use the jp version of the um dokon info here because the harudagan info isn't in the files for global just yet um, so, of course, because JP don't have uh, physical rosé, he doesn't show up on this list as a link partner. So I've just got my one up here on my phone. If we bring up the STR rosé, so they share Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Big Bad Bosses and Fierce Battle, uh, which are all links that the physical rosé has, right? I'm just double checking Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Dismal Fury. Yeah, he does have the exact same link set. So ignore the fact that this is STR rosé because, of course, he's kind of unusable, but... Um, Imagine this is physical Rosé instead. Now, in terms of the release right now uh, for Global, 
Rosé's not on his team, he's not on Rosé's team, but in the future they'll share some teams like the Broly team. Uh, they are on Time Travelers together as well. Um, so it could be quite interesting. Um, obviously, as a global creator, I think it'll be interesting to do a video where we try them out together. Although I suppose, like I say, at least on global, as of the release of Harudagan, the only team they're actually going to be on together is going to be Time Travelers, which is kind of a weird team. Uh, maybe they won't both get the 200% lead, but it'd be kind of interesting to try those guys out together for a video. Um, and then, yeah, when it comes to the rest of the four link partners, nothing else too crazy. When we drop down to three partners, however, we do have some units like LR Fusion Tomasu, who I think is still very good and can still be quite underrated. Uh, we have the LR Hatchiak that we got in the news today. He's going to get the final copy with the new battlefield that comes out. He's going to be useful for the future for like the artificial life forms mission against Beast Gohan. Um, so that's certainly interesting. Incel and like LR Rose with their easy A's can still be relatively good as long as they're not taking these big boss super attacks. Evil 21 is one I wanted to kind of highlight here as well because they're on transformation boost together. Um, so there are some teams where you could use these guys, but she has big bad bosses. Now, while she's not a support unit, she is a unit that can be pretty good on a bunch of the teams that she is on. And depending on the build of the team that you're running, if you don't have a lot of other big bad bosses partners for Harudagan, then having another unit that can float in slot three, her on super defense buff lasts for four turns. So when she comes back after being floated off, she still has her extra defense from the turn before. So just having a unit like that that can be relatively solid and still have big bad bosses there for Harudagan, I think is definitely a decent option to consider. Um, they are only sharing that one category, but transformation boost is obviously very good. Uh, Freezer is on here, which of course for global, he won't come out until just before the anniversary, but that's something to bear in mind, the fact that he is uh, a good link partner for him. Uh, Dark King Fu is another unit that's kind of interesting because he has big bad bosses and then fear and faith and fierce battle. This guy can be on teams with some of these other time traveler units like the LR Zamasu and Rose, where again, he's going to have big bad bosses. He's a support unit that if you're picking up the STR orbs, he gives a bunch of extra support, has the dodge chance and everything. So he actually could be quite useful as a team supplementing in some extra support for Harudagan. But of course, again, they only share the time travelers. So I definitely will make a video doing a time travelers sort of team set up with like Rose, Samasu, maybe this guy, and then like Harudagan. I think that could certainly be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, then a lot of these other characters, we start to get into the territory of characters that are starting to need an easy A to really be like relevant to run with him, like Kid Boo, uh, Tech Janemba. This Tech Janemba easy A, I think is going to be really, really good. I'm very excited for this because uh, I was always super frustrated with him on even on release because of the way he needs the particularly large amount of orbs and the way Dokon picks up orbs. Like even when you have, you know, four type orbs and two rainbow orbs there, if there's a couple of tech orbs to the side, it'll want to get those instead because of the way Dokon prioritizes key which is kind of annoying. But this guy with an easy A, if they ease up on those restrictions a little bit, I think he could be really, really good. So I'm certainly looking forward to uh, seeing what his easy A does. He's a support unit with big bad bosses. And then Meki Kabra is a unit that's going to get his easy A this year with the hero celebration. And they have fear and faith, revival and big bad bosses. So not a lot of stats. Unfortunately, it's a lot of key links. Um, but the HP recovery, a little bit of defense, and then obviously big bad bosses being the major one. This guy has the potential to get a really good easy A, and they share Resurrected Warriors, Time Travelers, and then Timeless Legends, I think is what the JP translation was for storied figures. Um, so they're on a few teams together, and this guy has never really been a slot one unit, so him with Harudagan, Harudagan in slot one, could certainly be an interesting uh, setup for him. And then we have like the Super Mirror. Those, again, we mentioned those Xenoverse units that need to get easy A's. We also have this guy right here. Now, remember for Global, it's already out on JP, but after Goku and uh, Harudagan come out and we start to get closer towards Golden Week, we should have in between in that gap, the release of the 50% support units easy A's and their returning banners, which means this guy will be on planetary destruction with Harudagan. Uh, they have Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare, and Brutal Beatdown. And then this guy's giving 60% support to Harudagard because he's an extreme int unit. 
So from Lynx, they're already getting 55% attack and 25% defense. And then he's giving him another 60% on top of that because of his support passive. So this guy could be really, really good to run with Harudagan. As a floating unit on a double Harudagan team, he's going to be giving all of that support. And then if you do end up with one of the Harudagans in slot two or keeping this guy... I mean, you can keep this guy on rotation early on because he gets that guard for the first couple of turns. And then he can be really, really strong. So... He is definitely a very solid option for uh, Harudagan um, as a, not only a link partner, but as a support unit as well. And then after that, you know, this is where we kind of drop down to, uh, you know, we get to sort of some of these other characters that are a bit older here. And then we drop down to uh, two links, which at this point, you know, any units that have like fierce battle and then one other link with him are gonna be here so there's a ton of units when it comes to things that are getting buffs during the anniversary you know we have the big bad bosses uh, sorry well they have big bad bosses but the movie bosses uh lr broly trio that become really good broly himself who we know is a 200 percent leader for him um boo the buhan that gets his easy a so like there's some decent units here but of course two links it just spreads across so many characters because anyone with fierce battle and one other link is gonna be uh sharing those links with him so there you go that is the harudagan link guide i think it's uh, he's got some interesting partners i think the problem was the same on jp as it is for global where at the time of release his team and some of his partners aren't the craziest but then with the buffs that come directly after as like the kind of second part of his celebration with the support units and then going into the anniversary in july he gets a lot of buffs so let me know what you guys think down below if you're interested in summoning for harudagan who are you planning to run him with what kind of team build let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one